Hi. Wow, it's a big room. We probably should have got a, a bigger room, or maybe a smaller room anyways. Um, I guess everyone went to the party last night. Am I right? I think so. Anyways, my, my name is Rahul, and I'm uh, the CEO of Unicorn. Um, if you've never heard of us, we're a company that started in 2014, and uh, we're an esports betting operator, like an esports bookmaker. Um, we, <laughs> sorry, the guy in front is sleeping. It's distracting me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, we are a uh, esports bookmaker. So you know, I'm a I'm a gamer, longtime gamer. I started a video game company many years ago uh, called Voodoo. We built high-end PCs to play video games with. I ended up selling it to HP. Um, created the Omen brand and the line. And then I uh, I left HP after three years of really just like dying. My soul was dying inside the company essentially. And I joined Microsoft, started Microsoft Ventures globally. I ran Microsoft Ventures for about three years, um, and uh, I got bored. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I'm a gamer, and I love to bet. And when I left uh, Microsoft, I wanted to, uh, to start this company that basically combines uh, betting with video games, um, like legal betting. You know, the esports market is absolutely huge. I don't know if, if any of you don't know what esports is, but basically they're competitive video games that are played all over the world. They sell out stadiums like the Mercedes-Benz uh, Theater in Berlin, um, Madison Square Gardens. They sell stadiums everywhere. And, uh, and there's hundreds of millions of fans that watch other people play these games professionally. It's, it's like a, a completely new uh, area for, uh, for, for monetization because uh, there's not a lot of monetization around those hundreds of millions of fans yet. There's advertising, there's team ownership, there's being a publisher creating video games, and then there's the wagering side of things, which is, which is what we're on. Then there's the crypto market. Um, how many of you heard of Bitcoin? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but basically, yes, Bitcoin is uh, obviously very popular. It's, it's gained in popularity. Unicorn is a company that, that operates in a regulated business, uh, in a regulated space. So, you know, the, the thing about uh, regulated space, blockchain technology allows us to do things like handle KYC, uh, AML, like uh, anti-money laundering, and also track customers' transaction histories on the blockchain. Because if you're a betting operator and you can track those, uh, those transactions on the blockchain, you then can deal with things like responsible gambling, which is very important in, in the regulated space. So the crypto market is pretty huge. I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously blown up and, and crashed, and it, it's, it constantly has these, uh, the, these fluctuations. But when we, so if you look at these two, these two sort of spaces, esports and crypto, you can see that these are sort of like, you know, big kind of areas to get into. Uh, you know, blockchain is obviously a hot topic right now. Um, Unicorn is a blockchain company. Uh, we started in 2014. We created our first token in 2015. And I'm going to talk to you about that in just a minute. Um, essentially, what's, what's really cool about these two intersections is this. Our customer base is a young customer base. They tend to be the, the ages of 18 to 34, and they tend to be very tech savvy. And the thing is, you've all heard about doing ICOs, and it's like the big thing to do is do an ICO, sell a bunch of tokens. But guess what? Nobody's going to use those tokens uh, if your customers don't understand crypto. Um, and it's hard. And, and so when we went ahead and took our coin that we created uh, and wanted to explore turning it into a crypto, we polled our customers and asked them, you know, are you familiar with, uh, with uh, Bitcoin? Are you familiar with Ethereum, wallets, things like that? And what we found was 70% of our customers were actually trading cryptocurrency before we even got into the business of, of thinking about it. And, and that's a pretty significant thing. If you're running a retirement home, and you want to do it on an ICO on it, then good luck. Because there's no, like, 80-year-olds aren't going to use your coin. It's too hard right now, and it needs to get easier. Um, when we started the company, we had some pr pretty awesome investors. We raised about $10 million in 2014 with Mark Cuban, Ashton Kutcher, uh, Sherry Redstone, Elizabeth Murdoch. Um, and we started to build what I would say is the most comprehensive sports book for esports on Earth. So we, we created uh, a product that allows customers to watch games on blockchain, uh, and uh, sorry, they can bet on blockchain, but they can watch games, and they can place multiple live bets, uh, up to 9,000 bets per minute per user, on a blockchain with no transaction fees and no delay. And they can do live betting with this platform. 
And, um, and we also create content. We, we, we create uh, written content and video content to bring customers to our site. So we do, we're like ESPN for eSports. So we create content. We have a, a, a betting platform that allows for both skill betting and spectator betting. We, have a, we, we just recently acquired CME, which is a, a company that, um, that allows for, for, for competitive gaming uh, 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 contests where you can bet money on yourself in, in a competitive gaming environment. We actually have a tournament platform, so we run tournaments in casinos, like the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. And we just got approval to take our cryptocurrency, Unicoin Gold, into the Las Vegas Strip in the MGM Grand in our, uh, in our um, t tournament platform. It's pretty cool. I mean, no other company has ever done this before. No one's ever been able to take a cryptocurrency into Las Vegas before. We were able to get this done. And, and, uh, and so, you know, as I, as I said, we're, we're kind of a, a fan-first company. When we created Unicorn at the beginning, we said, you know, forget about revenue right now. Let's build out the technology platform first. Let's really focus on building a fan base first. And, and the way we did that was by creating content and by allowing customers in other markets. So we're, we're, we're licensed in Australia and the Isle of Man, the UK. We recently got a license in Malta. But we have customers in Korea, in, in China, in the United States, Brazil, all over the world that want to use our platform but couldn't because we're a betting company. And um, at the time, we were kind of struggling with licenses. So what we did was in 2015, we created the Unicoin which is a, a, a token that uh, is built on, uh, at the time it was an internal token, it was built on an internal blockchain. And what it does is it allows customers to connect their gaming accounts, their Riot accounts, their Steam accounts to our platform and earn tokens. And then they can bet with those tokens. They can't be transferred, they can't be sold, but they can bet with them and they can participate in raffles and jackpots and things like that. Well, you know, the thing just kind of blew up. I mean, our, we, we started to do these tournaments in Las Vegas, um, and you know, the, the, the betting with the unicorns just got completely out of control. In six months, we did about 250 million, a quarter billion unicorn turnover. And, and last year, we, we talked to our customers and said, like, what do you want from this unicorn? Why do you like it so much? And the biggest request we had was they wanted more usage out of it. They wanted to be able to use it for other things. So we took the Unicoin and we created something called Unicoin Gold, which is a token. And uh, we built it on the Ethereum platform because we're already building on blockchain. And we created Unicoin Gold <coughs> as, a, as uh, another coin on our platform. And Unicoin Gold is like a, 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 it is a cryptocurrency, but we treat it like a fiat currency. And people can earn gold and silver on our platform and they can use gold to bet with on the platform. We sold 130 million Unicoins last year. Pretty awesome. Like we had, a, we had a token sale last year and we sold them mostly to customers, which is important because if you're ever gonna do an ICO and you just go to a bunch of investors and say, buy my crypto because it's gonna go up, you're making a huge mistake. You shouldn't do an ICO to raise money. You should do it because it's, it's part of your platform. You're selling a product. And that's the approach that we took. <coughs> so, excuse me, I, I've got eight seconds left, so I'm going to blow through this real quick. But basically, Unicorn is about watching uh, esports, placing bets, playing the games, and participating in our community. And you can use the Unicorn across all of these things. Um, we, are, we, we just got our license in Malta. Um, we got approved to be on their, their sandbox for crypto uh, betting. And in the very near future, I would say by July, Unicorn will be doing crypto betting across many markets around the world, including uh, Germany. So, um, so look forward to that. Um, again, I'm Rahul Sood. I'm the CEO of Unicorn. If you have any questions, just find me on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you.